the worst light in the entire world, but I'm currently getting ready. My friend Paige and I are doing a podcast together and she films her podcast, so I have to look somewhat presentable. I also just realized that my AirPods are in my stroller, which is in the garage at my grandparents' house, so. Oh, my toothbrush is dead. Phenomenal. Love that for us besties. What's that Chrissy Aguilar song? Can't hold us down. Suddenly the guys don't know how to act. So on Paige's podcast, we're going to talk about Teal Swan, which I'm super excited about. And I feel like I had so many people messaging me on Instagram, like asking me what I think about it. And like, honestly, this is what I'm always saying where like nobody lives in my head rent free. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know Teal Swan. Um, none of us really know Teal Swan. And just like, you know. The fact that all of that was filmed over like three years dwindled down to what, four hours maybe? And then you have people, you know, saying different things that like that was cut, that was edited, which I think is like very important to remember. Even if you're watching YouTube, it's edited. The like different words can be like miscued in the whole nine yards, um, which is very interesting how editing can work but I think we like all forget that and that goes for like any show really um even like having that like I don't know understanding maybe it is because I've been online for so long like understanding how people can edit things to look a certain way or even like the fact of I mean people can literally you guys photoshop bodies in video now you think they can't like chop words and add audio to a scene like so I think it's also the energy too of like she at the end of the day is a human and in the human experience like we almost put other people on pedestals um, thinking that this is the answer like you know this is the thing that's gonna fix us and heal us instead of like really taking full accountability and like full power um, and like human free will over anything you know so We'll see how it goes. Paige is all about human design. Teal is a reflector, which says a lot. Um, and yeah, that's the tea on that. So very excited to jump into it. Okay, my sweet sweet friends, I just got back from Trader Joe's. I have to show you our hot mom, our spiritual hot mom grocery haul. So this riced cauliflower is such a must in the house. I love it, Lala loves it. So I picked up two bags of that. Also, normally I get these at Costco. Normally I get the chicken cilantro wontons at Costco, but I totally forgot. So I grabbed a couple bags of these. These are so good and so filling. Um, so I really love those. I picked up some of the organic vegan nacho dip, super yummy with potatoes and broccoli. And Lava Girl loves it too with some broccoli. Speaking of, I got two bags of organic broccoli, just a super easy side to throw together. I love steamed broccoli. This is new, the unexpected cheddar chicken sausages. I've really been on a chicken sausage kick. I just, I don't know what it is. I really love them, which is stir fried like peppers and onions and like broccoli and zucchini. I got some ground turkey for a recipe. Of course, I had to pick up, you guys already know, organic zucchini, an absolute essential in this house and I actually ran into one of you guys and I have a really funny story about someone else I ran into from high school but we'll get into that later but I ran into one of you guys Caitlin so thank you for kind of saying hi I complimented your hair and then you were like why do you look so familiar and then we had like a full breakdown about it um I picked up some organic romaine for salads of course, another thing of broccoli. I got some organic spinach for smoothies. I really wanted to try the crunchy curls. If you know, you know. Bria is just out here influencing all of us. So a crunchy curl, a tasty lentil and potato snack. Should I just try it? Should I just try it right now? I mean, I, I have a feeling in my head like what it's going to taste like.
April. Also, you guys, this bread is one of my favorite finds ever. This Rustico bread for two pieces. It's 70 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 11 carbs, or sorry, 13 grams of carbs, but with four grams of fiber and three grams of protein for two pieces. So this bread is so good. It has like the texture of sourdough bread where it has like a good like actual chewy taste to it, you know? And it tastes like multi-grain bread. I really love it. I got some cauliflower rice. I've really been loving to make this for Lila and I with potato. That way it's just like sneaking more veggies in. Um, I picked up a couple of new seasonings. I got the barbecue 101. I got the ranch seasoning blend and the seasoning in a pickle season blend. I love dill anything. So super excited. I picked up the vegan buffalo dip. I love anything buffalo, so yum. Uh, more of the crunchy chili onion, chili onion crunch, whatever we wanna call it. These are one of my absolute favorites, the jalapeno chicken sausage, but also you guys, the garlic herb one like this, so good, so, so good. So with our butcher box, you guys know I'm like obsessed with our butcher box now. It's absolutely one of the best things we ever did. And I was looking at meat prices at Trader Joe's and I'm like, I don't understand how anyone affords this. Like, I just don't understand. So um, I'm very happy about our butcher box, staying at the price we're at. And like, because when we signed up, we get a bunch of free ground beef every time. And I know right now they have a really good deal going on. It's like seven pounds of free meat. And like whatever deal is going on, you get that your entire membership. So I'll have a link down below where you can get $30 off your first box. Um, it's not sponsored or anything. I love butcher box. It makes it where I can afford eating like grass fed, organic, sustainable, like really good meat. So. Um, I'll have a link down below for that. And then I went to Whole Foods and I picked up two of my absolute favorites. If I get you guys to try anything, please try this salad. This is the organic kale Caesar salad from Whole Foods. It is so good. My friend Sam loves the Asiago um, kale salad by Taylor Farms. I tried it, it's not the same. You need the organic kale Caesar. And then I just picked up some organic iceberg lettuce for salads. We know I love iceberg. I then picked up some tzatziki dip, very, very boring. And I like this one, it's made with Greek yogurt and then some carrot chips for dipping. So super simple. As well as I got a ton of flowers for um, some photos I need to take. I got a ton of flowers for the photos to take as well as the Conscious Mamas uh, circle, the spiritual hot mom gathering that we're having this week. So I'm very excited about that to set up a little altar for that experience. Um, so we got a ton of roses and just really beautiful flowers. So. I what it looks like driving with Marissa Lise. Flowers. Salad, prayer, let's go. Currently shooting some crystal photos and a couple of reels. I get asked all the time about crystals for nurseries and like babies rooms. So I think I'm gonna launch this during the next Light Love and Lace launch, but aquamarine, rose quartz, selenite, literally game changing for sweet little baby angels either doing something like aquamarine or even like this beautiful baby some celestine i love these i have um a huge piece of celestine in um lila's nursery as well as in our bedroom uh because we do co-sleep <laughs> and selenite also just to keep the energy really clear and positive and calming as well as with aquamarine it's never about wanting your child not to cry it's never about wanting you know just to be like be seen not heard sort of thing never but with aquamarine it really is like connecting you and healing your throat chakra so if they do need you like really keeping it in a calm energy calm vibration and then also with the rose quartz of course connecting to the heart and a feeling of love and safeness and gratitude and with selenite again that calming energy so 
having them either under the crib or just somewhere where baby can't get to them um, is always a great, great option. I am just so excited. We're getting ready for all these new babies to launch on Light, Love & Lace. We have some really beautiful rose quartz palm stones, which I love. We have some rhodochrosite. We have chrysocolla. Um, I just did a whole video in Like Honey, kind of going through some of my favorite crystals, how I use them, why they're my favorite. Um, and yeah, I just really love it. I love, <sighs> I love life right now. That's how it feels. I love life right now. So I'm going to put a couple bundles together in this launch. I'm not doing a ton of bundles. Sometimes I, I like go back and forth. I was just talking about, I was just talking about this in the video I filmed, but I was saying that whenever I launch crystals, I always like feel the best and I'm most excited when I do it where it almost has like a theme and you know, all the crystals kind of connect together. And this launch's theme is all about really connecting to your divine feminine and your intuition and really activating that energy. Also, it's been suppressed in so many of us for so long um so i'm very very excited and it just it's turning out so well so very very excited always excited um lots to do there's also the mini crystal course coming out soon the crystal course is coming out soon so it's going to be video as well as audio and a couple of meditations on how to use your crystals and the best crystals that i find for love a video on crystals the best for manifestation the best crystals for inner peace and harmony um, covering all of those questions and then a couple of meditations for activating each chakra using your crystals and all of the questions that I see all the time so really doing a dive uh, for beginners and all the questions I get about crystals so I'm so excited crystals have been such an like huge part of my life you guys know that for literally so long um, I think seven years now, seven or eight, or I guess eight years since I took my first uh, meditation class that was a crystal-based meditation class, and it was a rose quartz-based meditation class. So getting all of this goodness together in order, and it's, it's just going to be really good. I love these rose quartz points where they're raw on the bottom and then polished on the top. Um, I finally got back in stock some of the crystal keychains, which I'm so excited about. The mini selenite towers. You guys know these are such an essential for me. Um, having them in each room, in each corner of the house is really powerful and keeping that energy pretty clear and potent. Um, there's just a lot of really beautiful pieces and really beautiful things coming. So really excited for that. Um, and I have, well, I think, I can't human right now. I can't communicate. So, um, we have all of that and it's always hard to like, um, figuring out what I want to list, what I want to launch. Um, and like I said, I, I very much love and prefer each launch to have an intention and a focus and kind of like an energetic resonance, you know? And so this one really focusing on intuition and the divine feminine and the sacred feminine. So really choosing pieces for that and um, just gets to be really fun and really beautiful. My intention was starting Light, Love & Lace uh, seven years ago was for uh, you guys who told me you didn't know where to find crystals around you, who didn't have shops around you. And you know, now I'm someone who I don't have a shop around me. Uh, when I lived in LA, of course I had Spellbound Sky. If you're ever in LA, go to Spellbound Sky um and they are just dreamy uh my crystal energy like bracelets that i normally wear my mala that i had during birth um is from wax and wayne you can follow them on instagram and even if you message them i'm sure they can help you just tell them i sent you and um they're they're literally amazing so i'm going to get back to shooting some photos for some things and we are gonna get the ball rolling today's felt like one of those days wait um, Oh my god. Um, we have some mini rose quartz I need to shoot. Oh my god, how amazing. Like these, like I really want to launch these, but at the same time, um, there's not a total connection. Um, of course, when working with higher vibrations, it's important to ground your energy with something like black tourmaline. Um, but there's not a whole true connection. So these black tourmaline pieces, I'm very excited to launch soon. 
but I don't think it's quite the time yet. So I will leave a link down below for you guys to check out Light Love and Lace. We also have um, a bunch of digital courses you guys can buy. We have the meditation bundle. Of course, we have the Like Honey membership, um, which has meditations, journal prompts, audio trainings, video trainings, the whole nine yards. Um, and we have the Spiritual Hot Mom, Spiritual Hot Gal merch. Yay! I can't believe that finally happened. I'm just like so excited. I've really been, my intention, and I'm very proud of myself for this. Um, when I get ideas, I try and just like do them then. You know what I mean? Instead of like trying to perfect it, instead of like overthinking a million different things, I am someone where if I have an idea, I just trust it and I follow it and I try and do something every single day to get closer to that. And that has worked thus far in my life. So 10 out of 10 recommend just doing the damn thing. <laughs> I'm just so in love with these. They're so dreamy. They have like the most dreamy, angelic energy. And for the bedroom, they like, oh, I just, I can't. They were so helpful to me, the Celestine, when I was pregnant. Um, I just slept so much better when I had Celestine near me and in the room. So I'm going to get back to working. I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into it. My pregnancy test is in there. My positive pregnancy test. Uh, taco salads. Tonight on Miss Maris threw together a delish meal. We have taco salads. We did turkey meat with green chili peppers and Cuban black beans from Trader Joe's. Uh, a whole head of iceberg chopped up the holy guacamole avocado light sour cream salsa jalapenos some of that for lunch tomorrow but you can eat as much as you want mm. it's fine i can always make something else so good mm. Mm. when i was a kid we used to do taco salads like this except on the bottom it was crushed up doritos Kind of nacho? Nacho. We have Cool Ranch in the pantry. We do? Mm-hmm. I thought so. I ate them all. Oh, you did? Oh, That's almost. good. I'm glad you ate them. Did you enjoy them? Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. If I didn't put the green chilies in this, Lala well, would love this. I'm going to start making this for her and I. a thick queen taking up space taking names mm, mm, mm. I'm doing burritos Good job. <clears throat> yum I might add a little bit more salsa and yogurt ranch for all the extra lettuce on the bottom yum. Mm. 